Hey, cool boy. First comment of the broadcast. Welcome to a moment in time with Taylor. I got my Spider Woman shirt on. I'm ready to do some yoga. I am having a lot of different feelings simultaneously right now. And there's like a lot of positive feelings. There's also like enough negative feelings that I'm having a hard time focusing on the positive ones. So maybe yoga will help. Also, it will definitely help my wrist, which I got surgery on a few weeks ago and need to keep working at recovering. So when I bend it backwards like so, and when I put weight on it, it hurts. So I got to work on that. So that's what I'm going to do. And you're free to join me. And by join, I mean like hang out in the chat, not necessarily do it. If you shouldn't do it, you should always consult your doctor before trying any new movements. And I'm going to be trying a ton of new movements tonight. Poses I've never done. So I'm not trying to teach them or tell you that you should do them. I'm just going to read them out of this book and then try them myself. So the theme of this year is ABE, A-B-E, always be experimenting. So we're going to start experimenting right here with some yoga poses. Sound good? Hi, Joel. Hey, Matt. Thanks for inviting your followers. Spider Deuce, yes. Spider Woman, Greg. Exactly. Exactly. Jessica Drew. I actually don't know anything about her, but I assume that's the alter ego of Spider Woman. <laughs> Ricky knows. Greg, thank you for the super hearts. Oh my gosh. So my last day on Periscope will be tomorrow, January 5th on Tuesday. That will mark exactly four years since I started my Periscope account. I am feeling a lot of things about it, but we'll talk about all that tomorrow. Tonight, we're going to start with the pose that we finished on the other night that we didn't. This is the one we finished last time, and we're going to go on to this one here, which is called Both Hands to Legs Bound Revolve Child's Pose. Twist to the right from child's pose, shoulders now perpendicular to the floor and buttocks slightly raised. Reach out with your left hand to your right ankle and reach behind your back with your right hand for your left leg. Oh, okay, yep. I see, I see, I see. Bonjour, <laughs> you're Batman, okay. Sounds good to me. I need a vacuum. What the heck is all? Oh, you know what? Ed took the uh, Christmas tree down last night, so that might be why. All right, so from child's pose, we twist, reach. I can't do this. Oh, butt's supposed to come up. Okay. Five breaths. The other side. Oop, got a weird cramp on my left side. That was weird. Kind of like my left shoulder. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, that felt good. That felt very good. I get the impression. Thank you, Stuart. I really appreciate that comment. I get the impression I shouldn't scroll up and read most of the comments. So the next one is reverse child's pose dedicated to Garuda. This variation incorporates prayer hands or Anjali mudra, which is really good for my wrist. Another of the symbolic mudras or hand gestures performed during yoga. From revolved side child's pose, wrap your right leg around your left leg. Press your palms together over your chest in prayer position. Hold for 30 seconds to one minute, reverse legs. 
supposed to move my legs in that position. I think I'll set my legs up first. So this one looks like this. I do five breaths, Santa. Oh, thank you, Brent. I appreciate that. I want a whole lot of feelings tonight. So. Thanks. Thank you, Ricky. So that's the front. This is the back. I like both. Um, so for this one, I'm crossing one leg over the other. So. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay, wait, like this? Okay, I think like this. We just had a really great stream on Twitch right before this. So I hope you guys don't leave me just because Periscope is leaving us. I hope that we can continue. I think the other one was like something like this. Continue to stay connected on other platforms. Oh, my skin is all dry around where all the bandages are. Oh, I can't wait to get to the beach. Look how pale I am too. It's like horrifying. All right, child's pose sideways. Oh, this should be interesting. This is what I call thread the needle. So we'll see how this goes. My final stream will be tomorrow. I have announced that a couple times, but I don't know what I'm going to be doing or when I'm going to be doing it. I should probably figure that out. But technically it's after midnight, so it marks four years. I created my Periscope account on January 5th of 2016. 2017. 2017. <laughs> so that would be four years tomorrow. So it seems like a good day to start experimenting with others because we'll still have Periscope as a potential backup for three months if something doesn't work out, you know, like if I'm live on Twitter live and I have a problem and I just get fed up and I just go to Periscope, I can Instagram live, YouTube live, you know, whatever it is, I'll always be able to kind of bounce back here if I need to for the next couple of months while I find the place that I like the most. Twitch I like the most. I don't love streaming on their mobile like app though. So I need something to replace these types of streams. I'll still stream every single day. I'm already streaming every day on Twitch, except when I travel, I need something for when I travel. So Tomorrow will be my final Periscope stream. Hi, Blaine. And then I'll be live on Twitch. I'll be live on Twitch tomorrow as well. I'm officially a state of survival streamer. So I have an official schedule and shifts that I have to stream that game on Twitch, which is really exciting to see how that's going to unfold. And I'll be doing that tomorrow night, my first shift. Uh, and I'll be streaming here before that. And then I will be live on Twitch every day until I start traveling on Friday and I'll be live on Twitter live. That's where I'm going to go live first, but make sure you're following me on Instagram and YouTube as well in case t Twitter doesn't work out or something. <laughs> and if nothing works out, then I'll just do it on Periscope, but I'm, I got to find the solution. I can't just like, I won't have Periscope forever, you know? So we're going to start the experimentation while we still have the backup plan. All right. On to thread the needle. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. It's actually very exciting.
It's so hard to get my weight off my left knee in that posture, though. It's easier to do this because I have most of my weight on my legs. <laughs> Gonna do a little cat cow here. Which is just flexion and extension of the spine. So if I'm able to put my weight on my hand enough. It's really limiting me and I really want to just be able to do this because I wanna get this back in. It hurts too much. Alright, I'm gonna go to fist. This is my fourth live stream of the day. All my streams have been pretty much a minimum of two hours. So this is like my, how long was I? I was live four hours, my last one. How long was I live? I was like two and a half hours. I think like maybe an hour and a half. So this is like my ninth hour of streaming today. So that feels really good to stretch my back because I've been sitting way too much. Hi, Mike. All right, next page. Extended puppy pose, which is just like the normal one, basically. Puppy pose. Do, 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 do. Avoid, do not rest your elbows on the floor. Allow the middle torso to sink or release from the pose too soon, or you may become dizzy. Slightly arch the upper back to provide your shoulders and spine with a gentle stretch. Also, elongate your spine in both directions. When are we going to AC? Um, I don't know. Probably when the regulations lighten up. That's my guess. Hi, Laura. I can't really press into my hand too much, it kind of hurts, so that's how I'm getting out of it today. I like to practice crawling on it a little bit. Okay. We're going to do the same thing, and we're going to bring our hands together and then behind the neck, okay? So then I'm going to do it this way because then my head on the carpet sucks. Thanks, Mark.
That was a delicious shoulder stretch. This is a delicious back stretch. Hmm. What else we got? Oh, they said it's more intense if you bring the hips forward. That's normally how I do it anyway, so that's what I already was doing. What in the world? What are these poses? Okay, this looks really fun. Water grove pose. It's kind of like what I was just doing. My hips are up in the air. Okay, I'm going to try it and then... I'll show you what it's supposed to look like, and we'll see how I do. This is really interesting, okay. I don't really know how to come out of it. <laughs> oh my god, I probably could have gotten really hurt there. <laughs> don't try this at home. How the heck? How am I supposed to do that? So as if you can do it in prayer position or hands apart. Her hands are apart, but it's supposed to be that top picture. That's what that was supposed to be. Not totally sure if I was doing it, but it actually felt pretty good on my shoulders. And then it says, from that pose, bring my arms behind my back and interlace my fingers. The fuck? Let's try it. Let's try it. I can't because my weight is on my, oh yeah, lift. And I have to put my, fuck. Oh, back. Her chin's not on the ground. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. 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 All right. I got a cramp in my butt. Too old for this crazy craziness. Abe, always be experimenting. I'm gonna help my hips to mutate by doing some reclined pigeon pose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just hit a pose and you're like, oh, I didn't even know how bad I needed that, but that feels good. Can you guys see any of the money on the floor? There's like money on the floor. Is that our club? Hey! You slept too hard? Did you drink too hard? Because I sometimes get leg cramps when I'm hungover. <laughs> What's the next one? 
Lotus Intense Extended Puppy Dog Pose. Okay, I guess. I mean, I guess. I kind of want to do this one sideways. Why don't I turn my mouth? See how this one goes. How this one goes. I'm coming into full lotus pose. <laughs> and puppy. It's actually fine. Yeah, that was actually not so bad. Should I do it with the other leg on top, maybe? Also. Oh, my seat I didn't even know I could do that. It's fun to do, but dang, my freaking hip keeps popping out. Put my pants on. I'm going to play Steve Urkel. Let's go. Okay. Eight limbed pose. I know how to do that one. Her hips are up very high for eight limbed pose. Feet spread wide and in inverted locust pose. How's that inverted locust? Oh, locust, not lotus. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Oh my god, that's gonna be really cool. Okay, let's try this, let's try this. See if I can pull this off. How the heck? Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, this is a crazy one. This is really fun. It's not often I have a lot of fun doing yoga because I feel like I've done a lot of yoga poses in my day, but never this one. Okay. I don't know how. It wasn't as cool as I was hoping it would be. Not quite as flexible as I need to be to make that as cool as it could have been. But it's fun to try it. Do a little neck stretch after that. I love yoga so much, so much. Oh my God, the yoga on YouTube has been a long, long way in the past. Thanks. Okay. All right. That was pretty cool. That was the end of that page. I think that's good. The next one's a bunch of bound angle stuff. So we'll pick up on that next time we do our yoga. Happy New Year, you guys, and I will be live here on Periscope for the last time 
ever tomorrow, January 5th, 2021, my fourth year anniversary. I've been live every single day for four years straight, and we'll celebrate that tomorrow. I don't exactly know how. I got to make a plan. Love you guys. I hope to see you on the next juice. I go live every day on Twitch, so I'm going to continue to do that. So follow me on Twitch, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube so that you don't have to miss me and I don't have to miss you. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, right? Like a half my lipstick came off from drinking water. <laughs> Good night, Brent. Thanks for helping with the moderation. That's so, so, so helpful in these streams. Good night, Matt. Hope to see you guys on the next juice. This has been a moment in time with Taylor. You're smart. Stuart, come and follow me on the other places so we don't have to be separated, okay? Meet me back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Remember, you are worthy of being loved and feeling comfortable in your own skin. Walaikum salam. This has been a moment in time with Taylor. <laughs>